Just could reach everyone, there'd be no wars will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope I spent most of this week working on the two upstairs bedrooms, trying to get them ready for their final coat. I'm definitely getting faster, but I'm having to force myself to stay focused and get the job done. This is another one of those jobs to me that is not the funnest to do, but has to be done. Probably one of the best things that's happened to me along the way as we've built our house is a little bit more discipline with getting things done. I have a really bad habit of getting to about 80% with some of these jobs then moving on to other things just simply because they're not fun to do. In my mind, as long as I'm checking things off the list, I feel as though I'm moving forward, but there's something to learning the discipline to get the job finished before moving on to something else. I still have a long way to go in this department. The more time I spend doing this kind of drywall, the more I begin to understand what it's going to take to make it look good.
in my mind, these three bedrooms aren't gonna be seen anywhere near as much as the downstairs. But working on the bedrooms has been a really good place for me to figure out the texture and just in fact how things are gonna look. The water that we've got coming off the hills is almost shocking. Naturally, water takes the path of least resistance, but what's interesting is the water has found gopher holes which has channeled it right above the house, forcing a very large amount of water right through the front yard. This has never happened since we've owned the land. Three years ago, we had almost as much snow as we did this year, and we didn't have anywhere near this kind of runoff. As I do the rock retention wall this summer, I will need to put in some sort of a diversion ditch above the rock wall just to ensure that it goes around the house without eroding away any of the dirt behind the rock. I look at these little experiences like freebies in the sense that I would rather they happen before we're living up here than when we're in the middle of it. I know we're going to have more challenges as we get moved in, but, but in my mind I'm grateful to see what I think is the worst case scenario before we're living up here. I've never cared for little dogs, but after seeing all the gopher holes that we have, I've given thought to one of these rat carriers or something like that that might put a dent in some of the voles and the gophers that we do have living around here. I'm certain as long as we live here, this will be an issue, but the fact that the water is going into the ground and then coming out of the ground 20, 30, 40 feet down the hill through these gopher holes is something I wasn't expecting. As I'm working through the steps in finishing the drywall properly in these bedrooms, it's interesting how things are starting to take shape in my brain. Just a couple of weeks ago, it was nothing but a bunch of stick framing up here, and now it's starting to take shape. The laundry room, the bathroom, I can see this all in my head and I can see how user-friendly it will be. As I look at the layout of our upstairs, there's a couple little things that I could have changed to maybe make it a little bit more user-friendly, but for the most part, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. To me, the house represents a place where I'll spend my time when the sun goes down. In my mind, most of the time that I will spend in the house will be in the evenings or on Sundays. But my hope is as I get the shop built, as I get some of the other projects up and going around here, especially during the summertime, I'll be outside. Cedar, on the other hand, sees the house completely different. She sees the house as the place she will likely spend most of her time. Being a mother and a homemaker will require this. Because the house does not have air conditioning, we will do our best to keep the oven off in the summer times and have a way to cook outside, whether it be a bread oven slash grill or something along those lines.
There's a few weeks out of the summer where it gets over 90 degrees up here, but the nighttime lows are in the 50s. So we should be able to manage it accordingly. Since I've gotten the drywall and the insulation up, I can feel how well this house is insulated. Between the windows and the insulation, the house has a very high R value. At times when I get up to the ranch in the morning to go to work, and I try to take into consideration just how much work, in fact, I have to do, it can be overwhelming. I have to slow down a little bit and take it one step at a time. There's so many different things I wanna do up here that it's hard to sit still, but we've gotta get the house finished and get moved in. Myself and Ruger are up here on the uh, upper deck, I guess. I don't know what I call this little area up here. This is the originally where we wanted to put our house. Thank goodness we didn't do that. I don't know if we'd ever be able to get up here in the uh, winter time, but now I've got the uh, sawmill deck up here, I guess. And uh, my idea behind uh, putting this little deck in up here was that it would control the water flow and where the water's going. And uh, on one hand, it is a little bit, but on the other hand, I can see there's work I need to do uh, to keep the water away from the house. But we're just up here, me and Ruger are up here walking around looking at just how wet and muddy it still is. And it's about 64 degrees today, beautiful day. Drying out really fast, that's the good news is this stuff dries out real fast, but there's still quite a bit of water. There's still a lot of water up here. And uh, I'm just thinking about the, the future and how I'm gonna do things that uh, ensure that the foundation of the house don't get compromised, ensure that the solar panels don't get compromised, uh, different things like that. I guess I'm always thinking about that stuff. And uh, at the same time, just looking forward to everything drying out. This little spot over my shoulder right here, where that little pool of water is, uh, two years ago, that uh, water accumulated right there for about, uh, four months, five months uh, out of the summer. Once the snow melted all the way into about August, there was just a seep right there. And I actually had a thought that I might be able to do something with that. So now that it's a super wet year, it'll be interesting to see kind of how long the water sits right there. But anyway, just looking up on the hill, there's still some brush piles I need to burn. I want to get the hillside cleaned up one final time, get whatever burned that I need to get burned and maybe do a uh, pasture mix uh, seed one more time and uh, get ready for some livestock get ready for some animals so anyway I like to walk around up here and just kind of think and contemplate and let my brain soak up what's going on and and uh, try and wrap my head around all the challenges and all the uh, beauty and all the uh, opportunity I guess that I have before me so